finally get to do it five years after the second project. Eight years after working on farm. <laughs> so, this is a pretty, pretty basic but important principle. So you have a tank that collects all the hot water and water that goes through, this is called like a manifold when it has many tubes in a line. And so, what's really cool about the system, you don't need a pump, the water circulates on its own as it gets hot in the sun. But what it, the only way that can happen is if the tank is higher than the manifold. And you put the, uh, the cold water, okay, hot, wa uh, hot water naturally rises just as hot air rises. So in the tank, you're gonna get a natural separation of the hottest water on top, and the coldest water is gonna sink to the bottom. And then that coldest water is gonna sink down to the lowest point, so the roof's not flat, on the low point, and then when it heats up, it starts to rise again, and it has to come out the top. You never want to have to try to send the, the hottest water back down again. It'll make your system not flow very well. So it only rises in parallel, and then it goes out up, and then we put, I'm missing one hole here, but we put, this is where the hot water is gonna go into the tank, and then I gotta go, the colder, it's still gonna be warm in the middle of the day, right? But the colder of the water, I'm gonna put a hole here, that's gonna come out towards this. And this is gonna just cycle by itself as it's getting hotter and hotter. At nighttime, what it wants to do is go backwards, and it wants to start cooling down. Um, without a pump again. Now we don't want that. So what we do, and there's a component I don't have, but it's called a check valve. And the check valve make, allows water to flow one way, but not the other way. So you put that right here. And what it'll do is allow the water to come out and during the day, and then as soon as it wants to reverse, it's gonna go, <clears throat> can't go through, can't go through. So the hot water stays here all night. Cool. And, very important, you see that green circle on the roof, that's a bigger, basically a bigger tank than this. So what we do is insulate this so that hot water stays hot because it gets really cold at night. Well, cool at night here. It's not gonna snow or nothing, but it gets cool enough to where cool this down really fast. But if we insulate it, and this is just like an old piece of bed, I don't even know where this came from, recycled. Many people throw these type of things away when they're old. The only important thing about this insulation is it can't get wet. So you need to have that outside tank really sealed from the rain. Because if this is wet, it's not gonna insulate the hot and the cold from the outside is gonna, water is a good conductor of heat, so the heat is gonna go away. So this needs to be dry, it's good insulation. And, and then so we have that gonna be wrapped around this, and then we have the other tank, which is metal in this case, but we could just use a 200 liter or 50 gallon drum as the bigger one, and then we have to have a lid on it, so no rainwater is getting in and making this stuff wet. And then all our seals, we need to be really tight, no leaks. Um, and then the shower water, when we're gonna get the water from the shower, is coming right out the bottom, because when I put it all the way down here, I get I, I can empty the whole tank at night. We can all take showers, hopefully. We're not gonna each take 15, 20 minute showers. We're gonna be <laughs> conscious about this water use. Okay, so with this is a system with no really little controls. In the morning, what we have to do, since it has no water in it, we have to open a valve, fill it up with cold water, and this highest one is uh, the overflow. So I'm just gonna open the valve and stand near it for a couple minutes until I start and I'm gonna put a hose out onto the roof, and then as soon as I hear the water start trickling out, I know it's filled, and I close the valve. This is the lowest technology system you can have. There's automated valves. You can use like a um, toilet uh, type of valve that'll shut off, but the problem in a tank this big, it's only 60 liters, which is about, what, 15 gallons, is if you have the toilet valve, you, you're gonna lose volume. It's going to only fill up to like here, maybe, by the time you put the valve in there. So, this way I can fill it all the way up. And what else? Um, that's pretty much the most, the main principles of this. It's not too, it's not too technical, but it has very important, um, 
details about this. Okay, so this is just PVC, and we painted it black. But it goes up and down the same, the same pipe, or it goes... Yeah, so this is all connected with T's. You cannot see it. They're separate. They're not, it's not one long tube. It's not like this. It's going to go, the water's going to go in here, and then it can all rise, because if you see here, it's a bunch of T's. So oh. water comes in here, and it, it actually separates here. And then it start going up, you know, go up. We would not be able to do some kind of configuration like yeah, this. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So it's going to heat, and then it's not going to want to go back yeah. down naturally without a pump forcing it. 